In this video, I'm going to show you how to go from zero to Lottie and well, however long this video takes. Um, Lottie is an animation framework built by Airbnb. And they have all sorts of uh, animations. So the first step you're going to do is you're going to go to this website called LottieFiles.com. And uh, basically, these are a bunch of free to use you can develop. Um, and it works on uh, iOS, Google, Android, React, web. Um, so these are all actually Lottie files being played right here. So these are all different animations and stuff like that. And there's tons of them. You can see there's over 67 pages. So in the search, I'm going to search for a bell. So I want a notification bell. All right. So we got all these different bells. Um, I'm going to go with this one, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and download. And that bell.json is going to download. And I'm going to go ahead and take that bell.json and drag it into uh, an Xcode project. Now I'm going to open up a terminal. So that bell.json, that's the actual animation. Uh, one thing we can do if we show in Finder, um, I can see it's only five kilobytes. So that entire animation is only five kilobytes of space. Now, um, in the meetup, they did discuss that you can load these off the web too. So you actually, you can build a lot of your app and have your designer still work on some of the animations or fine tune them after the app's already been submitted to the store, which is kind of cool. But uh, yeah, let me go ahead and do command space. Open up my terminal. I'm gonna change directory to my root of this project. And if I do an ls, I need to install uh, Cocoa Pods. So I'm going to do a pod in it. And if I do an open dot, um, that'll open up that directory. I already had it open, but I just wanted to open that. Um, so if I right click on the pod file, I'm going to choose to open with. And I'm going to go ahead and actually open up with Komodo. You can use any text editor you want. Um, you can see a previous one I had open. So you just need in your pods to install. You do a pod Lottie dash iOS. And I'm actually going to double check my work. So if I look over here, yep, Lottie dash iOS. So I'm going to save that pod file. I'm going to do a pod install back in my terminal. I'm going to close Xcode. And I'm going to do an open uh, Lottie. So whatever your project file is, the XC workspace now. So if you ever work with CookPods, it's the exact same thing. Now, um, unfortunately, they noted that uh, on the storyboard, the Lottie animations don't work too well, just kind of drag and dropping. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a new uh, file, Cocoa Touch class. It's going to be a subclass of a UI view. I'm going to call it a fancy bell. I'm going to create that. I'm going to take out the draw method. And I'm going to do the init, uh, require init with the coder. I'm going to do the super init with a decoder. And then um, I need a Lottie thing. So actually, first off, I'm going to do a product build. It's going to build all those pod files so that I can import Lottie. OK, I'm going to do an import Lottie. And then outside of this, I'm going to have a var for my uh, Lottie. So var uh, animation. View. So I can call this whatever view I want, but it's an LOT animation view. So that's a Lottie animation view. And here's where you can do the contents of the URL. So if you want to load it from the web, I'm just going to use the name. And if I go over to the files, I can see it's bell.json. And that's all the JSON. Um, so in here, I'm just going to do, whoops, click right there bell.json. Well, actually, let me try this bell. Um, if it doesn't work, I'll have to put the JSON. 
Now, a couple things I need to set up in here. I need to set up the frame of the view. So animation view dot frame equals our CG rect. I'm going to do uh, zero, zero, um, self dot frame dot width, self dot frame dot height. And then I need to set the scale mode. So animation view dot content mode equals dot um, scale aspect fill. And then I need to add the subview. So self dot add subview animation view. And then finally, we need a couple of things on the animation view. So animation view. You don't have to do this one, but this is so we can actually just see the animation. There's a lot of little commands you can run, uh, like to actually play the animations from a certain time frame to another frame, time frame. Or you can do, well, all sorts of stuff. But this is just a basic quick, quick demo. So loop animation equals true. So basically, it's going to ring that bell constantly. And I'm going to do, do an animation view dot play. And here you can say uh, two frame progress from frame. Uh, a lot of those are kind of common to play, like maybe your animation has uh, different ways you want to run it. You can even run it backwards too, which is kind of cool. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save that. Go to my storyboard. And we're actually almost done. Uh, Lottie makes it super simple to add any kind of animations. So actually, I'm going to make it about this size. And I'm going to pin it. Oops. So I'm going to pin it 30. 30, 30, oops, and then aspect ratio. All right, let's run it and see if it works. If it doesn't, it's probably that dot JSON, but it should work. Oh, <laughs> I lied about it working. Uh, click on your UI view, make the files owner. So in the files owner tab, make it the fancy bill. Otherwise it's just a blank view. <laughs> there we go. So that's a fancy bill right there.